Hi guys, um, just got myself a new toy today. Um, this is the G1W camera which I ordered uh, through AliExpress. It got shipped uh, within about two and a half weeks um, uh, via the Singapore Post as you can see here. Um, that cost me uh, only half a dollar but it was worth it because um, I believe the Singapore Post is a little bit quicker than the China Post. So uh, this is the package. Uh, as you can see there's uh, a piece of bubble wrap and quite a lot of yellow tape on top. Inside the package itself there's the card box for extra protection but it's still not the, the main box that you will see inside. Okay, here's the proper packaging. As you can see, very nice looking box, uh, very well made um, with the specs around and on top. The only funny thing is that there's no mention that this camera is called G1W. Um, fortunately, I believe it is because I've uh, opened the case, I've seen what's inside. I've seen the quality of videos, so, so that's definitely the G1W. Nice touch here is the ePrints logo. This is the name of the seller on AliExpress. So they have their individual um, boxes. That's, that's great, nice to see. Um, and here's what's inside. On top, you will see the G1W camera. Okay, let me just, it's a bit difficult to do it with one hand. As you can see, it's very sleek, very nice, very good build quality. Because there was no branding on top of the box, I mean branding the, the name of the camera, I was a little bit worried what's inside, so I've opened the camera. And uh, a word of advice, uh, this one is not as easy to open as the SJ4000. So basically I really had to use quite a lot of force. I even, I think, chipped uh, the cover a little bit with the screwdriver. Sorry, can't focus. Okay. Um, and here's what's inside uh, just after you open the top cover. As you can see, there's the 320 milliamp uh, battery. What this tells me is that this camera is a newer model because um, the older cameras had uh, 200 milliamp hour batteries. And here's the LCD screen. As you can see we have the seller's logo and, and here's the screen itself. Very large for, for the camera this size. Okay and here's what's inside the box. There are only three accessories so the main sack mount that you attach to your windshield and the camera itself. Uh, it allows for quite a lot of adjustment, uh, there's no vibration so I'd say it's very good quality. There's also a short USB cable to use with, with your uh, PC and a longer one to use in a car. As you can see it's, it's very long, it's about 4 meters long. So you can route the cable around the car, hide it and achieve uh, a very nicely looking setup. There's also a short user manual but I don't really find any use for that. So that's all. Um, here's some uh, sample footage uh, taken today and you can expect more later on this week. So that's it and thank you for watching.